Now, if you're just tuning in, we're still discussing ways to go on holiday without breaking the bank. Now, please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 8038 And we have Sansi in the studio. Hi, what? Oh, my goodness. Hey, <laughs> hey, what I went through. Oh, yeah, so tell us. It's great to meet you. Tell my us goodness. what happened. Oh, uh, I spent, today was the peak of it. I spent almost four hours in traffic. It got to a point, Google Map didn't know what to say again. <laughs> like, it tells me I'm rerouting you, and then after 10 seconds, it goes back to the former route, and then it goes, you know, at, at some point, Google Map just stopped, like froze. Mm. <laughs> For like 30 something minutes, I didn't know, it just kept saying 54 minutes, 54 minutes, and then the next time it opened up, it told me an hour, 26 minutes. Oh, I, well, I, well, th we're happy to have you. We're happy. we're happy to have you. You are big on holidays and budgets. You know, what? Yes, there is absolutely, us. there is no holiday. Like, if it's not Christmas, maybe when I get married, things would change. But right now, as a single person, if I don't travel, it's not Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> I must. And you always plan. How do you do that? I just, I, I mean, I'm big on planning. I'm, I'm like 50 yards ahead. You know, so I would, um, you know, create a budget right from maybe September. I'm already creating a budget. Okay, this is for Christmas shopping. This is for travel ticket. This is. She's this, loving this. you already. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Okay. <laughs> Let me bring it. Let me bring it, Dayo. Dayo, we lost you for a minute when we, when we were talking. You know. Yeah. So can you just please pick up from there? You know where you were, where you were, where you were at before we lost you. Okay, uh, I was saying, uh, okay, what was I even saying? You were saying okay, that a lot of people about, that had uh, never contacted you about, you know, holidays, destinations within Nigeria, all of a sudden, Exactly, yeah. thank, thank you very much. Even today, somebody called me, they are frustrated, because this COVID is frustrating people, that's the word, frustrating people. As a matter of fact, I stay in Lagos, but I came to Abuja just on Sunday, and I heard uh, Zanti, uh, Zanti saying something about traffic in Lagos. Uh, Coming, leaving Lagos to Abuja, I feel peace all around me. <laughs> because you wake up without the sound of uh, your uh, all, all these agro boys abusing others, <laughs> talking about you are driving on your own lane. Somebody just from nowhere just wants to look for your trouble. Mm -hmm. That is Lagos. So leaving your Lagos, although we all love Lagos, Lagos is the place. Is the but leaving Lagos to so ordinary, even Ibadan, mm -hmm. Abel Kuta, mm -hmm. a lot of all this. I've, I've gone on Lagos Ibadan Expressway for years, and I never saw Ogere Resort. There's a resort by Ogere. Mm -hmm. I had never seen it until someone called, and they needed a place for retreat. Mm -hmm. we, I mean, they've done uh, Lumoro, they've done uh, Abelkuta. Somebody just suggested that, why not try Ogere? If you stay there for two nights, you feel the peace. Mm -hmm. the, I mean, the lodges are away from the road. You feel that you see. You don't have to break holiday. Holidaying outside Nigeria is interesting. However, you don't have to travel out to have a good holiday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I heard uh, Bimbo saying something about mm -hmm. Ibom Resort. Ibom Resort is beautiful. As, well, uh, I, well, I count myself as a fortunate person. Out of the thirty-six states in Nigeria, I've visited every state. Wow. I've slept in every state wow. in Nigeria. <laughs> Yes. That's quite yeah. impressive. In Nigeria. <laughs> yes, because I, I actually started accidentally, but long ago. So I just find myself, okay, well, when I was younger, I attend wedding, I, I attended weddings, one auntie, neighbor, I always <laughs> nominate myself then. Of course, during school, I was in there, I, I was a unionist. So all the nuns convention here and there's on this, go and monitor. So I had opportunity to go around Nigeria. And I can tell you, unfortunately for this Boko Haram, Nigeria is a very beautiful mm. country. Mm. I went to South Africa and somebody was say, uh, I mean, a, a lady, a white uh, lady in South Africa, she's a South African, we're discussing and everything she knew about Nigeria was the negative uh, oh, news that, that goes around. I had to sit her down. We spoke for like 30 minutes and I drew Nigeria a map of Nigeria sectionalized it into different uh, geopolitical regions and said this is the news you hear in south africa only affects this portion of nigeria mm. and I, I opened my phone and i showed her yankari game reserve mm -hmm. this lady planned she's up she's in her 70s but she's right there she said before she dies she must visit nigeria, nigeria because i was able to explain to her what nigeria has nigeria is very blessed 
But of course, like Bimbo was saying, is how to harness all these potentials into something that is sellable. Mm -hmm. That is where our okay. challenge is. But then... Go ahead, go ahead. Me? Okay. So, but then, with proper planning, mm -hmm. uh, you can visit... Somebody mentioned IITA. I worked in Ibadan, and IITA is a beautiful... As a matter of IIT is not in Nigeria. I'm that telling you. Once you cross the gate. They say you are no longer in Nigeria once you cross the gate. You are no longer in Nigeria. You don't use your horn. You drive at a regulated speed. speed. You know, Niger Niger it's just us. Just, we should look, where COVID has helped us to look inwards. Yeah. It has helped us. If, if you want to say, okay, because of the insecurity, you want to stay in Southwest, a lot of places in Southwest. It's a landmark beach, it's a beach. Mm -hmm. If you want to go further, you go to uh, Suntan Beach in Badagri, you can do your Badagri. A lot of people stay in Ajad, they've never crossed uh, Leki and VI. Yeah. Go to Badagri, go yeah. to Ekpe. Ekpe Resort is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Of course, and thank God, the Lagos State Government is trying to fix the roads. roads yeah. You know, I, I, I say jokingly, we have Lagos Ekpe. Oh, we're losing him again. Well, let me come to you. Uh, so, so, I mean, this is really beautiful, right? Um, because now I think COVID has taught us a lot of things. First of all, it's taught us to look inward and all of that. It also taught us planning. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it, it all was planning because you know, before you can just wake up and just, just pack your bags, and now you can't phone. just you have to make sure that you're putting every and uh, crossing every T and dotting every mm -hmm. I. So, for people right now, that between now and maybe first of January, they just want to get something that they want to do. Is it too late? First of all, that's number one. Then, if there are places that they could visit now, because I hear IIT, you have to book a month ahead. No oh, you, <laughs> there's no space there. <laughs> She's already <laughs> saying it. Yeah, so, like, what are the quick things that people can start to do now? And where are the quick places that are still available, that are still peaceful, beautiful places that they can visit, you know? Um, <laughs> first, we need to take into consideration that this is peak period. So, mm. even if, um, say, this was, say, March, for example, and you're planning for April, it, it's not peak period. This is peak period. Places that ordinarily people wouldn't stay, people are forced to stay there because mm -hmm. for lack of um, another, option. another option. So, yes, there's that. Well, um, from January, for example, there's um, the Jara Beach mm. Resort. If you're looking at, and also there's this thing about Lagosians not wanting to leave Lagos. Mm. We need to change that mindset. <laughs> like Americans. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, we need to change. A lot of Lagosians, uh, nah, anywhere but in Lagos. I think it's probably just tied to the security. But people are <laughs> everybody, everybody, everybody is about what they would meet. <laughs> When you read in the news, people are laughing. People are afraid. <laughs> because I'm, I won't lie to you. I'm not going anywhere. If I'm going to do or These are the people they're talking I, I, I love hard. travel. I'm always well open done, to. I'm, honestly, I'm open to anywhere. Mm -hmm. Fly, road trip, uh, uh, by boat. Anyone. I love travel. I love adventure. So I'm maybe one of those people that in the future, when I get wealthier, to like just spend you money, know? everything. And just take when a I jet roll, and go. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just spend four hours in traffic. Is that not traveling? <laughs> no, honey, that's not. That, that's stress. That's off our head. What was you were saying? Yeah. So um, there's still um, a couple of places um, open, mm. like the Ekpe Resort. I know there's still some. There's still available, and it's actually really nice. They redid the whole place. Mm -hmm. It's um, it, it's it feels homely. Um, it's a place home that is home away, away from, from home. home. You can actually go and spend some quality time there with your family. It's very family centric. Wow, that's the Ekpe Resort. Yes. But how about the Lakwe? Is it different? Lack, from, they are I different. Hear that it's so beautiful. As yes, well. actually, I mean, you, people really need to start visiting these places, even if it's for a weekend. Take nice pictures. We need to promote ourselves, mm. promote our country, promote our tourist attractions here in Nigeria. Take pictures because people, if you go to Paris, everyone is quick to take a picture and the Eiffel with, Tower, with the Eiffel right, Tower and then tag it. I'm in Paris. But you could actually do the same with your tourist destinations here in Nigeria. Mm. Morocco. Take a picture. Yes, Olu Morocco was doing so well, and they still are. And I think the government actually did some. And revamped. Yes, yes. they revamped it. And you, you could see the influx. I mean, a lot of people coming in, taking pictures. And, and, me, and you would even be like, oh, maybe I should go to Olu Morocco as well. And there's so many other places like that. Yes, Ikogosi. Yeah, right? Ikogosi, yes. Warm Springs. Yes. There's so many nice places within 
Nigeria. I mean, if you're concerned about safety, those places are relatively safe. Southwest. You know? Yes. I think we should um, encourage a hiking culture. Like, go on a hike. Because, um, <laughs> have we thought about it? No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just, sorry I got to the bit late. It's it's not, she's skinny. It, no, 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 she's because, saying like hiking, like... It, it, it's it's not a Nigerian it. thing. I'm so saying, it, it, you friend. have to, yes. It's just like um, any other thing. You, you need to develop the culture. I'm sorry, and, Sanky, but why you did you how, Do you see how they get trapped and people come to save them? Indeed. Oh, come on. Like Listen, <laughs> in Nigeria, we are black people. We Nobody love will our know you lives. went there. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Nobody no, but there are actually a couple there. of people in Abuja doing it. I mm -hmm. think twice yeah. every yes. every week, yes. every month. Yes. They go hiking different places. Yeah. And then know? there is camping as well. Mm -hmm. You've got um, companies that actually, this is what they actually do. So they go in groups and then they go, they pick a nice destination and they camp there mm -hmm. like three days three nights, four nights. I mean, a lot of people are saying that I need to actually explore my country as well. And I'm, I'm sure. happy um, um, Daya. Um, Daya actually did mention he's been to the 36 states of Nigeria. Wow, so, I'm I so mean, proud of him. Yes. Daya, are you there? <laughs> Is he back? I think I've been to like... Yes. <laughs> okay, so Daya, like, I'm so, I'm so proud of you that you've been to... Me, I used to pride myself that I've been to many places in Nigeria, but I've seen somebody that has surpassed me. <laughs> you know, but if you were to... If you were to rate um, Nigeria, where would you say are the most beautiful places within those 36 country, um, states that you visited in Nigeria, you know? Okay, uh, okay. in terms of uh, tourist attractions, I'll, let, I'll use the geopolitical zones. Okay. Because uh, tagging a particular state might be difficult. Of course, you pick a Lagos state. If I don't want to mention Lagos state, because almost everybody listening has seen Lagos and uh, has seen a part of Lagos. So I'll look at one of the, my favorites. Do you know the, one of the most beautiful plateaus you will see in the world is in Taraba state? Mm -hmm. You need to be, you need to go to Taraba. The Mambila Plateau is beautiful. From the top, there's a. You, I mean, you, you, if you, if you are if you are on the uh, on top of that plateau, you 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 forget you're in Nigeria. You just wow. suffer the moment. You you look away that all the problems and all you forget it. If you go to um, oh beautiful Arugungu, I was in the university. I went to my friend who was my classmate, a prince in Arugungu. We left for the Argungu Fishing Festival. Hmm. And on that day, I made up my mind. I said, no, this country is big. I saw me they were excited. People were excited to do things for tourism. That was as far back as 2001. Wow. So as far, but unfortunately now, the fishing festival is not as big as it used to be. Hmm. But hopefully, the government is trying with the security, the security getting better. That's another place people should try to get to. Sokoto is beautiful. Uh, people talk about the desert in uh, Dubai. If you visit the desert in Yobe, if you travel between Potiskum to Damaturu mm. to on the way to Maiduguri, you, really you, you will end, you will know this is not like because you see the straight road. Mm -hmm. The road, even the roads alone, they are tourist attractions because mm. in Lagos, of course, you can't see more than one kilometer of uh, a good, I mean, a smooth road. Mm -hmm. But when you go to that northeast, you travel for for like 30 minutes on a straight road that you just you think you are seeing the sea but it's actually the road so these are beautiful you, you stop by the way you especially if you like uh, street food you buy and coincidentally i speak a little bit of hausa a little bit of Igbo, a little bit of yoruba so, so yeah full-blooded wherever, wherever you find yourself yeah you enjoy yourself you speak your language you know the an average house man likes you to speak his language before you know, they give you extra. You come to the Igbo man. Once you say, nah, okay, you know, they are happy. They give you. I can testify to them giving you extra. And let me just tell you a little story, 30 seconds. So <laughs> I introduced Uwa to one beautiful ram seller. And this man, I tell him my customer. That's before Uwa came. I introduced Uwa. Uwa spoke a house, and I could see we bought the same amount. I could see oh, the sorry. power of language. <laughs> <laughs> so you're right. So yeah, Dario, I'm going to ask. Um, I see you're a passionate uh, traveler. Like you're calling places I maybe have never heard of before, except for maybe Potiskum, but I've never been there. So hook me up. How 
do you travel on a budget? What are uh, travel tips you can give, especially for people who you know maybe don't have that much finance to uh, spend on travel, but they're really uh, passionate about exploring Nigeria and you know the world eventually? What are tips? Okay, uh, the first thing uh, that, that I would advise is to research. Do a proper research. You don't have to. Uh, it's not about hearing and you just want to jump in, because logistics is very is very key. How to get to all these destinations is very key. Mm. I had uh, a few people who wanted to go to Obud. Obud is very popular. Mm. But the honest truth is getting to Obud mm -hmm. is more difficult mm -hmm. than the fund you go there to get. Yeah. So if you want to travel to Obud, for example, you need to either fly to Enugu and do a road trip for about five hours, mm. or you fly to Calabar and do another uh, um, a road trip from Calabar to Obud. Calabar to Budu on a normal day with good road should not do, uh, I mean, within one hour plus, you should get there. But because of the bad road, you don't get there easily. So you can be trapped. And unfortunately, to even make matters worse, the flight itinerary to this, uh, to either Enugu or uh, Calabar does not give you the opportunity to say, okay, let me leave early in the morning, get to Enugu and drive. So that's another issue. So, you know, while uh, most of our Airlines are looking at all these popular destinations of Abuja, Port Harcourt. If you, if you fly into Jos, for example, you are almost in Azare. You are in, you are close to Gombe. You are close to Bauchi. So these are places that you can uh, you can leverage on the location of the airport and functionality of the airport. Mm -hmm. Because it's one thing to have an airport somewhere. The it's second thing is is it functional? Mm -hmm. That's our challenge. Mm -hmm. So once, you, once all these things are sorted, you plan you plan very well. Because I, uh, these days, I don't like road, tra road trips again. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather <laughs> have a, a trip that I'll fly <laughs> to somewhere, then I'll, I'll do the short trip to the place. Yeah. So if, for example, if I'm going to a lorry now, I can fly directly to a lorry. Mm -hmm. But if I want to go to Jeba, I can get to a lorry and drive to Jeba. Jeba is in Kwarasti, but a lot of people actually think it's in Niger state. It's actually to, towards uh, Niger. And the good news is from Jebba, if you, if you say, okay, you want to do the whole of uh, Northwest, you can actually take it, on the, uh, you can do Skebi, Sokoto. That's if you fly to Abuja, for example, mm -hmm. you can go to Kebi, or you mm -hmm. can even go to Sokoto. From Sokoto to Kebi, you can do that. You do uh, Argungu. So that's one ask one area. Then you come to the northeast. You can go to my mm. You do Portiscom. You do your You come to the uh, uh, There are nice places. Even Funtua. Funny enough, you have the. I ah, took, okay. I, Where I, is I, that? Yes, <laughs> Funtua. They're all in the north. north. Wow. Okay, okay. So, so Dio, Which let me come to Bimbo. So Dio made something because I, I had a mental note to ask you. How frustrating is it, you as a travel consultant, for you to be able to plan travel holidays for people within Nigeria and, you know, comparing it to your travel holidays abroad? How frustrating do you get because of this logistics that he's talking about? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a big issue. And um, we, no matter how hard we try, we can't do it by ourselves without some intervention from um, the government. Um, there are bad roads, there are sure. security concerns. I mean, I don't even want to have to talk about the security because everybody is very well aware of that. But I mean, a road trip that would take you ordinarily two hours or one hour, that's supposed, supposed to be a leisurely road trip. I mean, in, in the States, people drive Eight ten I hours. I fourteen hours. Are you kidding me? Eight ten hours. And or, I, well, I yes. need one portal. One. Uh, it's wow. not even about the portal. It's about the experience mm. for you. The road is you. You. I mean, you're it's driving. Scary. It's smooth. Yeah. You enjoy the scenery. You enjoy the ride. It, it, I mean, if if we have that, people will be driving distances yeah. from Lagos. And Nigeria to is not far. Yes. And I'm I mean, a fan of road road trip. Yes. Yeah. Flying I mean, is boring. Oh, I mean, if if, if we could yeah, if ahead. we could if the government could help us with the infrastructure uh, we have infrastructure but they are thin enough mm. so we need better infrastructures we need help from the government so let's not just play lip service to say we want to we want to improve on our tour tourism sector we should actually, actually do things and yes, see how yes. Nigerians will Bring, look inward yes, let's take comments um, Sanzi okay so we have um, this from Ade it says good evening ladies can we advise Ministry of Tourism to advertise all the tourist centers on media with their features I have been to a few I 
I have been to a few when I come home. So I think this is in Dasper. Yeah, he's in the UK. That is in the UK. Go ahead. All right, so uh, this is from Benson, and he says, We still miss the reality of us as Nigerians. We carry out spiritual tourism. We're camping, <laughs> and family time takes place. That's Shiloh in Ota, Redeem Camp, MFM, Nafat, <laughs> Experience, Shite Walk. These are places that many Nigerians don't miss, just to mention a few. Mm. Can we say that these are not tourism? <laughs> <laughs> A nice one whoever sent nice that that's a tourist that's a tourist that's destination tourism. but if you were to give like a final um advice I, I mean if i want to come to you now you know what's the best earliest time i should come to you to say you know what i want to plan a holiday three months four months then i'll ask um Dio. even earlier than that okay. i mean there's a lot of advantages to planning your vacation early say if you're having um a your birthday is in august for mm -hmm. example and um, you know your birthday is in August and you're turning 40 mm. and you know you want to have people at your birthday, say outside the country or wherever you choose to have it. It only makes sense that you inform people early, have a budget, speak to the airline, speak to the hotel, speak to all the suppliers that are going to make this your dream come true. It's of immense benefit when you, you start ahead because you get the best deals. Mm. You're not begging anybody for favors. Now you're calling the shots. Like, I'm the one bringing people, mm. so you're going to give me the... I need 40 seats. And then this gives people the time to plan. Planning is key. I said that before and I'm saying it again. You plan, it helps you choose the destination. If destination A doesn't work out well for your client or rather your guest, destination B will work out well. And you know, there's, there's all of that and it gives time for errors, no, visas, absolutely. whatnot, and all <laughs> so of that. Yeah. So you should plan, I mean, even a whole year ahead. It's, if so long you already know this is gonna happen, yeah. there's nothing stopping you from starting yeah. early. Oh, so we ran out of time. But I wanted to ask Daya, where are you going for going to this Christmas? It's, it's like I want to follow you now. <laughs> <laughs> where are you going to be? Well, um, it's gonna be I'll tell you. Okay, no matter, man. Well, <laughs> coincidentally, it might not be in Nigeria. Ah. <laughs> I'll tell you. Hi, man. I don't have to chip in something. Quickly, <laughs> no, one minute. To chip in something. One minute. You know, Bimbo said something. Uh, you know, we are already planning. Hello. Go ahead. Just we one minute. We are planning a birthday for July, and we started the plan. Okay. Like I was just chipping in to uh, corroborate what Bimbo is saying. There's a birthday in July. The man is turning seventy, and his children uh, contacted us. We are taking 70 people for sev for the 70th birthday, but this, uh, the tickets have been booked. They, they don't even know the names of those that will be going, but they know they will take 70. Guess what? Anyone that misses out of this 70 will pay more. Hmm. This birthday is in July. That's one side. Then another way you can uh, I mean, uh, work with budgets is to go as a group. Hmm. When you go as a group, of course, you share transportation, oh. you, sh you can get group tickets from the airline. So all these things bring that. And then use a travel consultant. Mm. We get the best deals. That's the, that's the secret. That be because the rather than you buying the uh, package or the hotel, for example, for $100, I can get it for $80. And if I sell it to you at 90 you will smile and I'll smile. Best. So those are uh, perks that you get you getting, uh, getting the, uh, a travel consultant to plan your Absolutely. vacation. Then travel insurance, please. This is one thing most Nigerians don't like doing, but please, this with this COVID, times. we need to start thinking of travel insurance for every trip, whether you are in Nigeria, whether you're going, you are going from Lagos to Sokoto, or you are going from Lagos to Geneva. Insurance. You mm -hmm. must have a co co travel insurance with COVID cover. Absolutely. Very important these days. Okay. And because uh, <coughs> we can go on and on. Oh, but I guess thank you. Time. I'm telling you, but we have to. We will definitely have to bring you guys back. Honestly, we've had an amazing conversation. Yeah. I'm sure so many people have learned today, and um, we're hoping that you'll be able to find ways to just get good holiday. You know, on a very very cute budget. Yeah. <laughs> now, in case you missed today's um, quote, here it is again. A holiday isn't a holiday without plenty of freedom and fun. So whatever you're doing, make sure you're having fun and freedom. We'll see you live on um, Monday. Yeah, Monday. I'm happy to say that. We'll see you live on Monday as we bring another great conversation to your screen. It's been a very insightful conversation. Enjoy.